Good morning everybody. Today we are um, exploring the Tidworth branch line which was part of the Midlands and South Western Junction Railway and actually Tidworth station was the busiest station on the Midlands and South Western Junction Railway. So um, we started in Tidworth um, to see if there's any remnants of the station which obviously there aren't we kind of knew that already. Um, what we're doing now is we're just walking up uh, past Station Road to see if we can replicate the image in Ye Olde Book, um, which is taken I think soon after 1900. Um, and it shows not only the station but also the offshoot into the barracks when they were first built. Um, however, the view we have so far is yeah, pretty much that. Different lens today. Um, with an ND filter on it to try and get rid of a lot of the uber glare. So I'm sure that there. So that was a success. Although obviously there's a lot more housing development, a lot more bushes, trees and shrubs and a random caterpillar. So the Tidworth branch line was part of the Midlands and South Western Junction Railway. In the late 1800s the War Department purchased 40,000 acres of land with the idea they were going to train troops there so a station at Tidworth was a, an obvious choice and barracks were subsequently built. Um, Right now, Rebecca's trying to salvage a caterpillar. Very little to be seen on this part of the road. However, there is the embankment upwards on that side, and there is the embankment up on that side. You can see part of the old structure here, which is basically just a concrete, concrete blocking. Yeah. So up there is the embankment, but as they all fenced off. Yep. Okay, see what the girls are doing. Rebecca's taking pictures of wildlife. Freya is looking after the dog, and Abigail is pretending she has a slingshot. Slingshot. Oh. So we're now heading um, to another little section, not too far from Loggershaw again, a bit closer to Tidworth than we were a second ago. Um, we're now back out in the sun. Hopefully, the filter is working. We've just done two tracks which crossed where the line used to go and there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever, no embankments, nothing. So I'm guessing the tracks have been well filled out over the top or underneath or wherever it used to go, but there's nothing at all. So we're going to carry on walking up this hill. That there is the top, if you can see it, of the hill between Tidworth and Luggershaw. And the track supposedly went just this side so we're going to see if we can get any closer to it. Right, we've just entered into a very picturesque wood. Probably closer to Tidworth now, but still on that side of that big hill. So, this is the edge tree line on this little copse or little wood. And it followed the contour of the railway, the line where the railway used to go, right around the edge of this hill. But there's no evidence whatsoever of it. There's nothing. Moderately flattened bit of land where you think the railway could go. It remains a bit of a mystery. So how much it did follow the contour, I don't know, because it looks like a hill in whichever way you try and piece together where the railway went. It looks like a quite a steep gradient, but nonetheless, um, 
There was a village constructed near Brimstone Bottom near Luggershaw, a temporary village which housed all the workers who built the barracks. Um, <clears throat> so they were transported obviously by train up and down the line in the early part of the 1900s when the line was built to build the barracks. Um, so how much of this we're missing See, I wonder if maybe we haven't even seen the cutting. Maybe this was the cutting. So, at this point, you can probably see a bit of a light bulb moment. So we spent the last probably half an hour or so trying to work out exactly which angle the line would have taken, if there's any remnants, why we couldn't see any kind of embankment whatsoever, certainly going up to that hill where you've just seen. Um, it wasn't until we got home, we did a little bit more research, it's highly likely that when we were in those that, that small wood, we were probably 40 feet above where the actual railway was. Um, so although the tree line there is curved, it's likely that when the cutting was filled in, there was a new plantation of trees put on top of it. Because um, my guess is, not being a expert in those areas, those trees were probably no more than 60, 50, 60 years old. So that fits. We couldn't continue too much that way because number one, the kids were bored. Uh, number two, because where we intended to originally park, they're now building uh, a roundabout probably for some more housing development on the east side of Tidworth. Um, that was where we intended to stop first or at least after Tidworth Station. So we shall leave you with a very brief clip of Luggershaw Yard. Um, which I don't think is used in a significant way um, at the moment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, um, thumbs up. Um.